What is up Helldivers, the first of the many to come mechs aka the Exosuit is officially out and it is the Exo45 Patriot. So it costs about 20,000 requisitions and is under the Robotics Workshop, but don't get fooled, none of the ship modules upgrade for the Robotics Workshop affect the mechs, whereas you need to be level 25 to unlock it. So Super Earth is equipping you with the Patriot which comes with the rocket launcher for democracy and a heavy machine gun for liberty. Once unlocked, you can use the mech as one of your four stratagems. The mech or the walker stratagem is limited to two uses per mission with a cooldown of 10 minutes, which could be more than enough or simply won't be as this is Helldivers after all and there would be most definitely um, a Helldiver moment for sure. That is if you don't get killed by the enemy scum or blow yourself up or get blown up by a teammate or environmental hazards. Once the two uses are consumed, it's done and done for that particular mission. And even if none of that happens, you will for sure run out of ammo. Speaking of ammo, the Exo 45 Patriot comes with 14 rockets in the rocket launcher and a thousand rounds for the heavy machine gun. Given the spawn rates, this ammo count will not suffice. However, with that being said, as the devs have already told us that we should be using our stratagems, right? So the mechs are one of the stratagems after all, and they're not meant to be piloted throughout the whole mission, which I think is fair. Once called a mech is sent down by a pelican looking dropship. Uh, interestingly, the dropship will definitely attack any bugs nearby and kill them. If it is armored enemies or not is yet to be tested, but I don't assume it would. But enough of that. Let's dive deeper. The maneuverability of the mechs is rather awesome, where Helldivers would be slowed on the environmental effects, foliage has no effect on the mech whatsoever. You can march through the jungles, exploding plants, brushes, trees, laying waste to everything that comes into your path, without being affected at all. However, you can't climb or dodge by diving or sprint in, in that case. The movement speed stays the same, but don't get fooled. The, the movement speed is quite decent. So not being able to use your stratagems while in the walker was expected. We have yet to find if it was intentional from the devs that you can't even use the map while piloting it for some reason. I'm, I, I mean, you can, but it is janky AF. Speaking of the map, you can't see or find the mech on the map, even if you have marked it. Once again, don't know if it's intentional. Where environmental slows are no challenge for the walker, terrain changes even as small as a minor rock would halt its march for democracy. You can't climb over obstacles and will have to make your way around it. Now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the XO45 Patriot's strength versus the Terminates. Let's talk about the Exo 45 Patriot's strength and weaknesses versus the Termin. It is not possible that you talk about the Termins and not talk about these little shits, right? You can merely step on them and consider it a stepping stone in the right direction, eh? Or just blow them up with the heavy machine. You got 99 problems and they're all unarmored or medium armored bugs. They can all be simply solved by the Exo 45's heavy machine. All the way from a scavenger, pouncer, hunter, warrior, brute commander, nursing, or bile spewer, the machine gun just shreds all of that. With that being said, don't get your head over heels as taking a lot of hits from numerous enemies at the same time will end your career as a helldiver prematurely. Now I'm not sure what causes this, but maybe depending on the angle, a single brute commander can also sometimes murder you by itself. The charger and the titans are a different story on the other hand. A good story with a happy ending. So where's the chargers, right? The charger stomps can destroy the suit and most definitely kill you. However, the ram doesn't seem to do much if anything. In fact, the charger ramming or charging at you will damage itself somehow and meet its very timely demise. The heavy machine gun seems to do nothing but um, tickle or scratch the unscratchable itch for them. The rockets, however, seem to make quick work of the charger. 
It takes about four shots to kill them. Or, um, two. We could safely say that it takes four to two shots on the chargers with well-placed shots. Uh, well, where do we begin? Let's not begin there. The Titans, just like chargers, cannot be hurt by the heavy machine gun. I, uh, I, I mean, if they're already, if, if they've already taken some damage, then the machine gun can be used to deal damage to their soft, squishy undersides. To finish them off, um, with the rockets, however, they can be four to two shot it for sure. Even one shot it, depending on where and at what angle they're hit. With all the terminated enemies covered, few bonuses. So bug spores can be destroyed by the machine gun from a decent range. And can definitely be one-shotted with a rocket. The containers cannot be blown up or broken with the heavy machine gun, but can be with the rockets, of course. So, bug holes. What bug holes? A very important tip if you turn too fast and try and shoot your rocket, you can blow yourself up. And finally, apart from the obvious reason that you could die from, keep in mind to be wary of the undetonated nukes as walking over them with the mechs will most certainly trigger them and make you a legend. A legend.